Okay, in this video I'm going to show you um, how to make this section responsive. Um, you can see that when you resize the browser, uh, it becomes messed up. Uh, and we're going to go into the code, we're going to be using inspect element, we're going to be actually looking at some code uh, and fixing it. So the first step is to figure out kind of where this is. Um, in inspect element, you're going to see what's inside this iframe first. Um, but you really only need to know this HTML. We're going to look for this. So uh, it looks like we can actually use this container. And if we edit this container, uh, we should be good. Now, the first thing is it has some uh, like inline styles. So the first thing I'd like to do is actually uh, find this and then remove those and put them into CSS. Uh, into a CSS sheet. It's a little bit uh, better. So um, I found the code um, and this is in my functions.php file. I found it because in my header I have a header uh, banner with function that calls this and then returns uh, this HTML which you see. So we're just going to edit this uh, divider up here and go from there. So we have a class called header banner we can edit that. So the first step is to copy or to cut out this into our style sheet. We can just edit it at the bottom. And we should get our class. And we're going to call our class like this. For this video, I'm going to make them look all pretty. And if I did it correctly, I forgot to save this. If I did it correctly, it actually should not change at all. You can see that the style is now gone. Uh, Okay, the next thing is now the rest of the work is really going to be in here. Now we, uh, we have this, it's a position of absolute. Uh, it has a top of 50 and a left of 48. Uh, and we want to change this depending on the screen size. So where it becomes an issue is right in here. So we're going to find what screen size that is. Uh, and the easiest way to do this really is to go in here uh, into inner and we can we can actually see this is kind of a theme is made you can see there's already this at media tag in here so I just copy those and what this says is uh, this will affect the media between um, this screen size and this screen size and we're going to work our way down so this means that all the CSS within this media tag will show up. So we're going to modify this. We're going to refresh. And we should see it appear twice when we uh, select this element. So we go over here and see how we have it over here, but it gets overwritten by this. So we can actually customize this a bit. We can go a little bit down more. We can customize this. Let's make it so it's centered and we'll put it uh, right below the logo. Uh, we'll have to adjust these uh, icons in a second as well. And then we can also do 50% to center this, which is a nice little trick. You can do a left 50% and then move it over with a margin left. And you do minus half of whatever the width is, so 448, so 224 pixels. I spelled margin wrong. And then you can see it's centered. Uh, our, it looks like our logo is not actually centered, so we'll have to fix that in a second as well. 
In the meantime, we have this in the right position. So let's go add our, H or our CSS in here. Format a little bit and save it. So when we save this, you can see that when we get to a certain size, it goes back to normal and then it customizes it. Um, we now have to fix these social links that are appearing in the wrong spot. So probably the easiest way is to adjust this and it looks like it's actually within here. So we can just go like this. We can uh, edit this a little bit. Make it so the top margin is a little bit better. So it looks like this is uh, the same CSS place. And we're just overwriting something that's already there, so we only have to overwrite the margin because um, the other part of the CSS is already in there. Let's refresh this, make sure it works. It doesn't look like it worked. So let's see why. So it looks like this is getting overwritten by this. And that's fine. Um, the way we can overwrite that, and that's probably because that style sheet was put into a weird place, we can make a, a better pathway. So we can go over here and we can do a path above it. And now this will actually overwrite it. There. And now let's fix this logo so it's centered. We can see kind of how it's done. So this can be a little tricky sometimes to figure out exactly where we want to go. But as long as you pray, play with it a little bit, um, we, can, we can actually figure this out. So you can just play with it a little bit. So what we can do with that is we can actually do the same thing as we did with the social links.
So we can see why that doesn't appear. Could just be it just didn't refresh right. So it looks like this is getting overwritten by this. So um, we can do the same thing that we did before, make it more exact. So it's the header. Now we can do something uh, in front of it. Well, actually, not home. Uh, that wouldn't make sense. I guess we can just do body and see if that works. And that seemed to work. Um, so this concludes this video um, for making things responsive. Um, now, of course, you have to go in and do this more and more. Uh, this is going to get messed up as you get smaller. And that just needs to be customized again. And you really uh, have the same issue as you did before. Uh, but it's just doing it for each screen size over and over and over. Um, until you uh, get down to about 320 about the width of a little iPhone and you're good to go.